of all of the items. Oh, oh! If you want a cheaper and faster way to get Rocket League items, head over to RL Exchange and use code Coral Coke. They have tons of your favorite items to choose from, so you can build the car that you've always wanted. And the best part is they deliver these items to any console insanely fast and have tons of payment methods that you can choose from. Just use the link in the description to go check it out for yourself. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another Rocket League crate opening video. This time we have 50 of the brand new Golden Pumpkin 23 crates in Rocket League. Uh, these just came out with the brand new Haunted Hollows event. And uh, let me just test this really quick to make sure my audio is working. It is, okay, perfect. Uh, I'm currently in a hotel room on vacation right now, so my videos for the next week are gonna be a little bit scuffed with the uh, audio and the um, overall quality. So bear with me here. But uh, these crates have Turbo Series, Elevation Series, which has mainframe, and Zephyr Series, which also has mainframe. So, up until this crate, there was only the Golden Gift 22 that had the double series of mainframe. So now this is the second crate with that, um, which basically just means it's double the chances of getting a mainframe. And uh, if you guys watched my last trade-up video, I finally got a Titanium White mainframe for the very first time on the channel and uh, people didn't even believe me because <laughs> it's so hard to get and it's so lucky that people thought I faked it, which fair enough I guess, but uh, no, I did not fake it. Uh, my luck this season has just been very good in Rocket League. I've been getting uh, lots of black markets from crate openings, lots of good stuff from trade ups, uh, really good stuff from tournament rewards. Lots of octanes from the very rare trade-ups. So hopefully we can continue that luck today. I'm not sure what else is in these series, honestly. I don't really look at it all too hard because it's all series we've seen a million times before. These crates don't really give us anything new. Uh, and the value of mainframe doesn't mean a whole lot at this point anymore just because they're removing trading December 1st, so... If we do get a really high-valued mainframe, uh, it doesn't mean as much as it used to, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But I'm still going to be stockpiling a bunch of crates and uh, trying to do openings after the trade deadline goes away. I'm going to like, get a lot of credits, crates, and stuff to make videos for after December because, yeah. It's bas they're basically just taking away my ability to make content in the game. Uh, we can still do modded stuff, like modded uh, drop openings and crate openings and stuff like that. Thankfully they can't take that away, but uh, it's just not the same. Because with real crates, you can open them, trade up the items, trade the items if they're really valuable, and uh, possibly break even on a video, maybe even make a little bit of profit. Oh, your first exotic, Ryzen. okay. Um, but you can't do that anymore. Now it's just gonna be, oh, here's a new crate. Yeah. Maybe maybe once they remove trading, they'll actually have new items in the golden pumpkins and golden gifts and golden crates. That would be nice, you know, because they give us new items way more often now than they did before. Like in season 12, we've gotten lots of new stuff, like new events. With really cool items we had the aftermarket events we had the halloween events we've had really good stuff in the tournament rewards this season so it's not like we're not getting good items it's just they keep removing features and uh making the game terrible like the servers suck servers are like worse now than they were when the game had like a million concurrent players that that makes no sense and the smurfing problem is really bad as well, you know. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys still play comp, um, but I know it's worse in the lower ranks than it is for me, so I can't complain too much, but... Okay, we just got three exotic wheels, so we're definitely gonna have a black market trade up at the end, which is good. Chance for a painted mainframe. Uh, I remember there was one opening I did... Ooh, black tachyon. Wait, I don't think I've ever seen that. That actually looks sick. There's like colors mixed in with the uh, black there um, but I did an opening where I got six exotics and that was easily the most exotics I've gotten out of a crate opening before and I think four of them were painted 
Uh, so we got three today. If we get three more, we can tie our personal best. Takumi, Aqueous, Lime, okay. We still got 23 more. I like to do an opening of 50 every time there's a new crate in Rocket League. Um, this is a bittersweet moment because this will be the last new crate, I'm pretty sure. Unless they release the Golden Gift 23 before the trade deadline, this will be the last crate where I open up more than five of them. Because without trading, you can only get five of them. That's going to be very sad videos. <laughs> Just opening up the five crates that I can get and then that's it. Maybe I could like switch accounts and like open up your guys' accounts. So do like five on mine, five on one of my mods, five on another random person from my Discord. Ah, it's just not the same though. But actually, maybe that would be better because maybe then when I got like a good item I would actually be more excited because other people don't have as many items as me, so when I get an item, it doesn't mean as much because I already have every single item possible, but on a fresh account with not a lot of stuff on it... Okay, another exotic, wow. Gurnaut, nice. Um, it would probably mean a lot more to them, getting a nice black market, a nice painted exotic. Massa Moon. Um, but yeah, I try to be positive in all of these, uh, update videos since they announced removing trading, but I can see in the comments, you guys are not uh, on the same page. You guys are very upset, and right, rightfully so, you know, it's, it's kind of dumb what they're doing, and uh, I know a lot of people are going to be leaving the game because of it. Um, but yeah, as a creator of content for this game for however many years, uh, I'm still going to just hold out hope until the very end that maybe... It's for a reason, they just haven't said the reason yet. I heard rumors of like Rocket League Racing being a thing. Some Fortnite collab where you can have like Rocket League cars in Fortnite. And they had to remove tradings so that your inventory in Rocket League could sync over to Fortnite without having issues because your inventory would be constantly changing uh, with trading. So then your Fortnite inventory would also be constantly changing and it would just cause a headache. So they're just like, we'll just remove trading because then we'll make more money and we can sync the inventories. I don't know, maybe the syncing inventory thing was just like an excuse for them so they make more money through the item shop. I don't know. Regardless, it's a dumb decision. Octane Chantico. There's really nothing they could add besides UE5 that would make the decision somewhat bearable. Dominus Dot Matrix for more, and then we can do trade-ups of all of the items. Oh, oh! Sorry, I have a few friends in here uh, that have been listening to me record, and if they weren't in here, I would have screamed very loudly. Um... I just got the best possible item I could possibly get from this crate. No shit. And, and the, okay, I did a trade up video and I got the very first titanium white mainframe I've ever gotten on this channel. And I just did an opening and I got a titanium white mainframe from this opening. <laughs> that, the odds of that, it's a 1% chance to get a black market and then there's 13 colors. And it's white. And it's white. I cannot believe that. that. People are gonna think this is fake. They're gonna think it's modded, bro. I'm on my laptop in Vegas right now. I'm not modding anything. I'm not faking anything. This is real. I just got a white, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I don't even wanna do trade-ups anymore. We're just gonna keep the items and do trade-ups for another video. Um, Cause there's no way my trade-ups can ever possibly beat that. And if it seems like I'm not excited for opening a titanium white mainframe from a brand new crate, it's because it's currently very late at night right now and uh, I wanna go to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that is definitely the craziest crate I have ever opened on this channel. And that is not clickbait. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.